In an unprecedented move, FBI agents raided the Florida home of former President Donald Trump and walked away with several boxes. Now, political analyst Morgan Peckman is uh, joining us live to discuss it this morning. Morgan, thanks so much for being with us. I, I mean, to say this is unprecedented almost sounds like an understatement. <laughs> That's absolutely true. I mean, this was an extraordinary move by the FBI and the Justice Department, and it will have large ramifications for the presidential election ahead and also for the country, since uh, it is certainly uh, really making a lot of people uh, very curious to find out what it was that, that propelled this raid on Mar-a-Lago. Now, well, federal investigators, they've been there before, right? I mean, they've been to Mar-a-Lago. So did this raid totally come as a surprise? Was it expected? Well, usually you don't get a warrant to raid the, the home of the former president of the United States. Uh, certainly that's something that we haven't seen before. Uh, it does appear that um, reportedly it has to do with these classified documents that the former president may have left the White House with. Um, but certainly for the Justice Department to escalate it, uh, their investigation to this point uh, was an extraordinary provocation. Mm. Well, the former president was in New York at the time of the raid, uh, and he had this to say, by the way. My beautiful home, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege, raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. They even broke into my safe. So, again, talk about these particular documents that uh, federal agents were probably looking for. Well, of course, we don't know what the substance of those documents are because they would be um, classified probably at the highest level. Um, but sir, but the, the Justice Department has been pushing the president to turn over documents that he left with for some time. He reportedly has turned over a number of them. But clearly, this raid is, indi is an indication that the FBI and the Justice Department thinks that there are still outstanding documents. I mean, we keep saying it's unprecedented, right? So before a search warrant like this is even executed, wh what are the procedures that have to be followed? Who signs off on this? Well, the uh, local U.S., uh, the f local federal judge um, seemed to have received two requests for warrants to, uh, to go into Mar-a-Lago. Um, but what's really so critical are the political calculations. Now, the, US, the Justice Department is supposed to be a body independent of the White House and act on its own autonomy. Uh, mm -hmm. But certainly we had heard in, in recent weeks and recent months that President Trump may be on the verge of again running to try to regain the White House. Uh, and so the timing of this raid is going to, uh, is just inflammatory. And, and certainly people on both sides of the aisle are looking very closely to find out what it is that the FBI will, would have walked away with. Yeah, you touched on it briefly, but what does this raid really mean for Trump moving forward? Well, certainly this, in a, in a sense, in the short term, this was a political boost for the president, put him back in the, in the limelight. He was already raising money for his campaign off of it. Uh, it was um, many of the, the, the Republicans across this country expressed terrible indignation. Even people who may be uh, potential opponents in the Republican primary for President Trump um, had decried this action by the FBI. And so uh, it plays into the narrative that Donald Trump has put forward, that he is being persecuted by the government. And now the Biden administration is using the weapons of the Justice Department against him. Now, that is not necessarily true in the least. Uh, and this could end up being disastrous for the president, depending upon what the investigation finds. But for the, for the moment, he's been able to spin it very effectively um, to boost his political fortunes. Well, we're all very curious to know what are in those boxes. It'll yeah. be interesting to see. Morgan Peckman, thank you again for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Hazel.